Hello and welcome back to Ali Vini's YouTube channel. Today I have with me Mr. Simon Luca Grillo, one of our City of London executives, who will be discovering what is possibly one of Ali Vini's most fascinating wines. Yeah, hello Nick and uh, hello to everyone. Today I will be talking about Giussartin by Guadalmelo and why it's such a unique wine in the world of wine. Okay, so let's start with the producer Guadalmelo an artisan, sustainable, family-owned winery led by Annalisa and Michele Scienza. Michele, who is the son of the famed professor Attilio Scienza. And the lands, based on some of the best lands of the Bulgari Dock region, their wines really are incomparable to anything in the world today. Yeah, exactly. Uh, since purchasing the land in Bulgaria, Michele Scienza has planted over 30 different grape varieties and has gained a very deep understanding of his vines through his research and experience. Uh, for example, um, one of his uh, expertise is this uh, Giassarte, produced from a unique style called Complantazione. To put it simple, uh, simply, this uh, means the planting of many varietals within the same plot. That's remarkable. I've never heard of anything of the sort. Wouldn't this simply confuse the wine as such? diversity and complexity of different varieties. But you would think uh, this was the case, but actually uh, at Guadamelo they've managed to produce spectacular results. Uh, these vines are now more or less over 19 years old, uh, interwining along the dense plot. And over time the varietals has fused remarkably to give the wine super elegance and presence. So we're not talking about cloning or crossbreeding here. We're Talking about, putting it simply, cohabiting and working together uh, to the best of your ability under the same roof. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can put it like that. Wow, that, that really is mm. amazing. Wow. Yeah. Full of flavor. Delicious. And that herbaceous note that lingers on the back of the tongue. How has Michele Scienza managed to create such a masterpiece from 30 different grapes? Well, <clears throat> this is, there is simple nothing like that. I mean, even uh, uh, Michele Scienza say always, Giassarte is Giassarte. Uh, every vintage will produce a slight difference in the vine, not only due to the climate, but also because the vines grow older and the grape keep evolving. You can't buy a bottle now. Um, thinking it will taste anything like the wine you drank, let's say, three years ago. But having said that, the production method shouldn't change, should it? But well, the production method may change a little. However, it basically stays the same. Uh, all varieties are uh, vinified together without additives and refined in uh, oak barrel over 24 months uh, on the leaves uh, before finally aging another 12 months uh, in a bottle. Mm -hmm and uh, all without uh, filtration. Of course, this is partly due to Guadual Melo's sustainability and mm. the fact that yeah. they are great ambassadors to uh, the art of biodynamic winemaking. This such a high quality wine with its unique style, I assume, will come at a price. Well, uh, the, the Giassarte, um, uh, we retail in the UK around 35 pounds. Uh, it's not cheap. But then again, um, when you know a great wine, you understand why. To be fair, £35, it's fairly priced. Taking into account its uniqueness, the fact that it cannot be replicated anywhere in the world, yeah. it's like you ask someone, how much would you pay for the rarest or best vintage of Sassicaia, which happens to be from Bulgari, really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the wines from uh, Guadalmelo are the pinnacle of what the region uh, can uh, offer. Uh, the diversity is excellent, and uh, you will be surprised as to how good the wines are in general. Uh, with the Giassarte, uh, you just have uh, to um, take the lip mm -hmm. and try it, as it's never the same and only looks better. Well, it looks like the world of super Tuscans has a dark horse in the form of this Giassarte. It's a super wine in its own right, and every bit as special as the top wines of the world in the world today. But unfortunately, we have to end it there. Thank you again to Simon Luca for taking us into the world of this extraordinary wine. And uh, who would have thought such a great wine could be produced from 30 different grapes? Yeah. It, it's unreal. 
Don't forget to tune in again next month where we'll be traveling to Umbria and discovering De Cunano de Barbi and how they are producing some of the great classic red and whites of the region and bringing them up to date. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.